Right, next up we have a vintage quartz clock. A very well made vintage quartz clock, I may say. Uh, a little bit of hint, a little bit of information. Well, I got it from, I picked this up. Where else? Good old boot sale. It's made by Toshiba. This was one of the earliest uh, Japanese electrical companies. It was formed by the Tokyo Electric Company and the Shibari Electric Company. They combined to be called Toshiba. And this goes back many, many years, more or less the era of electric lighting, where Edison licensed the company to manufacture uh, the electric light bulb which was probably a carbon filament job so it does go back a long way it's interesting to note that the other company uh, make what a wide range of stuff from medical equipment uh, domestic equipment and lifts uh, they make lifts they've been they've combined with a European company a uh, Connie lifts um, and they find their way into some very tall buildings and very fast lifts uh, I know they're in the other uh, the, tie the uh, Taipei building Taipei 101 is it I'm no good at numbers I'm number blind but anyhow they're very very fast they do a wide range of stuff medical equipment takes in things like scanners uh, you name it I think they make it anyhow a little I, I digress a bit let me show you what is on the back if it comes up as you know I'm one for any diagram or any instructions because that is important it gives you an idea as I say I got this from my boot sale very lucky um, I would say it's possibly 1960s is that era now if you look very careful you'll note the way the seconds hands going round. Remember this is a quartz clock. It is perfectly smooth. Most of these actually step in about a second or a half second time. You hear them going round click, click and so on. But this is a smooth operation. It's very well made. Let's turn it around and have a little look at the back. I'm going to make this a short um, one because my last two have been quite long. I'm trying to get it so I can show you the innards. This is the actual movement. To give you an idea, it's much larger than the modern ones. It's powered by two uh, U11 size battery. Don't ask me to quote uh, what they know, this uh, this size is. I know it as U11. The size down from a U2. If I get closer, you'll see a metal can that contains the crystal. The crystal is a device made of quartz, sandwiched between two conducting wires and a, the property of a crystal is it will oscillate at a certain speed and it is that speed which the clock runs from it might be altered by the actual speed slowed down but it originates from that crystal Sometimes I have a number on the side. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what this one is because I have got a cataract and I have a job actually seeing it. But suffice to say, there'll be a number on the side that it oscillates. And that is, is a property of a quartz crystal. There is a transistor. And below, you've got integrated circuit.
and next to that it looks like um, a little variable pot a potentiometer that would be obviously used to do the calibration now I can say now this clock has been running alongside one which is controlled by the um, uh, um, the radio radio controlled clock which is is in the same room and the second hand has virtually remained in the same place I'll turn it round which over the period of time is blooming good oh I've cracked a funny um, there she's going around now and another feature of this clock which I'm not going to demonstrate is to reset it the seconds hand will automatically reset at the 12 so if you want to set it at a certain time press the button and it will start going at 12 so that way you can get the seconds hand in sync with whatever clock you're using but as I say this I have watched with a radio control clock which are spot on radio control clocks are spot on and this has kept very very good time anyhow all for this time any questions please ask never know I'm well pleased with it so I pick up interesting bits from the boot cell um, my interest goes as you probably noticed onto a lots of things um, so it's interesting it, it keeps one active and one's brain ticking over I hope I've got a brain anyhow once again thanks for watching please subscribe please comment and many thanks again Thank you.